Overviewers, when I got home last night and uh, reviewed the video that I'd put up, I realised that, uh, to my amazement, that I'd, I'd left out a couple of um, well, unbelievable mistakes on my behalf. Uh, a, a couple of businesses that uh, are no longer there that I should have remembered. One of them being an arcade. Uh, how, I, how I managed to forget that is beyond me. But anyway. I thought I'd better put this video right before I'm moving on to the, my next video. So here I, is uh, a, a short video just um, putting a couple of things right that I got wrong in the last video. Back again viewers, uh, just going to have to do a quick recap on that video from yesterday. On this building here, a couple of things that I missed out and I cut. Got back home last night, watched the video and I thought how the hell did I forget that? Anyway, where you see Candyland here and Bubba's Food, there used to be another arcade called Magical Amusements, later to be called Sportland. It was owned by a Scott Dottery, an American, who also had the Lucky Star at South Shore and the Coin Castle further up the promenade which we haven't got to yet so the, the lucky star at south shore which is now witherspoons um, the velvet coaster the big bar down there three floors but yeah i just uh, i've had to come back and do that because how could i forget about an arcade that's sacrilege isn't it but there you go so yeah so before candyland and bubba's food there was Sportland and um, before that it was called Magical Amusements owned by Scott Dottery the late Scott Dottery I should say now the late Scott Dottery yeah, he died some time ago but there you have it quick update on that catch you later guys okay viewers just a quick recap on this building here the one that houses the, uh, the sea restaurant traditional fish and chip shop I know it's not on the promenade, but I did just uh, glide past it as if that's all it was and just said it was a market. It was actually a market called Benson's Bazaar. And Benson's Bazaar was traded there for many years. And uh, also above it, where the sea ice cream is here, there was at the Adam and Eve nightclub. But the entrance is where the sea ice cream is there. Let's go up the stairs and the nightclub was on the first floor. So the Adam and Eve nightclub, a very exclusive nightclub with a, a VIP lounge. It was the in place in the 80s and 90s. So yeah, there you have it on that building there. The sea restaurant was originally Ben Sims Bazaar and housing the Adam and Eve nightclub. Next door to that, you got the Waverly Fish and Chips, which has always been a cafe since, but it says there, Waverly Cafe, established 1935. I remember it being a Waverly Cafe back in the 70s. I obviously don't go back as far as 1935, but it's, uh, it's kept its name all them years. And on the corner there, you've got a convenience store, Artwright's convenience store. And use cigarettes and alcohol, basically a little off license. And the Stanley Arms. What is now the Stanley Arms Show Bar, which is reopened this year after being uh, closed for a couple of years. It's just been retaken over. I uh, can't tell you much about that at the moment, but it's very, very nice inside, quite elegant, but uh, not being in, not being in for a drink. Uh, all I can tell you at the minute is. Got some terrible karaoke singers in there. <laughs> right. So that's about it. That's to be covered these few buildings here. And I'll be heading back to the promenade to continue with this uh, with this trip of mine down the prom. We'll be starting on the next video with uh, the Huntsman building of which uh, which I am part of. That's where my place is. 
Huntsman building. I'm going to try and give you a brief history and probably a tour of it. That's coming up very, very soon. So uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And I uh, hope to see you again in the next video. Like I say, it's bank holiday Monday now, so I'm going to have to get back to work. But, uh, coming up in the next few weeks, I'll have plenty more time on my hands to do uh, some more in-depth videos for you. Once again, thanks again. See ya. So there you have it, viewers. Uh, I wouldn't have liked to have uh, continued with my videos without putting that one right first. Especially with it being an arcade that I forgot. But there you go. Uh, we're going back, a, oh my god, 20, 25 years anyway. So, um, yeah, on my part, unforgivable. Shouldn't, shouldn't have forgot that. But onwards and upwards we move, we move on now onto the, uh, onto the next building, which is actually the, uh, the building that I'm in. Now a lot of viewers have been asking me if um, I could do brief history on, on this building and possibly a walkthrough video of the building, of my business and of the businesses within it. Uh, I didn't want to... Uh, use this platform for promoting my own business but if this is what the viewers want to see I don't have a problem doing it I'd rather be unbiased in uh, in everything I do going forward but if that's what you want to see I'll do it for you and uh, onwards and upwards from here I think uh, we've just smashed through the 800 subscriber barrier now we're well on our way to the thousand and I'd like to wish not wish, should I say, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for that. The ones that have stuck by me and the ones that are liking my videos and sharing them and subscribed. A, a big thank you. Uh, it just gives it a meaning for me and um, spurs me on to do uh, bigger and better things. So anyway, thanks for that. I'm out of here now. Got to do some work. Sayonara, see you for now.